How's it going everybody? Trail Freak here. Coming at you from Trail Freak Garage. Today I will be installing the lift kit I got for the van, the E150 2002. The kit I got is a WellTech kit. It's a 5 inch lift which back when I bought the kit it was advertised as a 6 inch kit but I believe they changed it down the road because they were only getting just over 5 inches of lift a little, or something like that. So they changed it to a 5 inch kit. So now it just magically turned into a five inch kit, which it's all right. It'll be all right. It's still gonna get it up in the air a little bit. So I'm gonna get started. First thing I'm gonna do is take the wheels off, of course, and just start taking everything out from under it. Other than the lift kit, I have all new steering components, all the tie rods and ball joints, all that's gonna be, so basically gonna be a brand new front end on this thing. I got new rotors, bearings, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, stay tuned and uh, watch what happens. All right, so um, I'm about to start. First thing to do, obviously, is take the wheels off. Then I will get to the brake calipers and so on. This is not exactly a, a how-to, but if you got a kit like this and wanna, maybe there's some stuff in here you can learn, hopefully, but I'm not a professional. I'm barely an amateur, so all this kind of stuff is pretty new to me. I mean, I've been working on my stuff for, you know, ever since I've been driving, so we got that. So let's get this wheel off and the brake calipers and so on. All right, getting here to the back of the uh, brake caliper. Got this little eight mil bolt to get out. Alright, got that loose. And always a good tip is to put your bolts back into the hole that they came out of. That way you won't lose them. Don't, don't want to lose a good little nut like that. So, Alright, you take your 13 mil and get your uh, brake copper bolts off here. I got the dang sniffles, this weather around here is freaking unreal. So, let's get the bottom. Usually once you get these loose, they uh, come out by hand. So, there wasn't nothing to that. All right, to get this off, you may, if you can't get it off by hand, you may have to get you a, a pry bar or a uh, screwdriver get in here and pry on this a little bit to get it going compared to the top and the bottom work your way out with it hmm, there we go and i got this little hook right here Let's see if we can hook and hang well, dang, I think I'm going to have to take that sensor all the way out. So, let's see. What can we do there? I'm going to set this back right here. Then I'll take that. There's a little the, uh, sensor back here. I didn't even think about it. I thought that would have been long enough. So, let me do that. Okay, I think I got that sensor unplugged there. Yeah, I guess that's like your anti-brake something to do with that stuff so we're gonna try to hang this thing over here out of the way oh. Oh. all right you don't want to hang these by the hoses so get you a little hook make you a hook out of wire that's the old tent stake i use right there so just hang it up out of the way then you can start Getting started on this other stuff. Let's little work on that. Get these little brake, old brake pads out of the way. I got new ones for that, so don't need those anymore. And I think the first thing that I'm going to do is take the sway bar off, get that out of the way, get all my tie rod it's out of the way. So I got all new pieces for this so that's all going to be replaced and most of the time you're doing this you're going to 
you know, take all this stuff off and put it on your new beams. But I already have some new rotors and I have another spindle I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna take the whole complete piece off together. I get to work on doing that. Shotgun bolted, got the top of the spring, got that unbolted right there. So, so what next? There we go. Spring is out. Take my rinky dink Harbor Freight impacts don't get that. So I gotta figure out something else. So I'll be right back. Finally got the bottom nut loose. That thing, thing is huge. I had to go find a, uh, a 30 mil and uh, a big breaker bar to break it loose. Then I, I finally got it undone. Man, that was a pain. Whew. So now I'm gonna try to get this this one out here. Alright. Get that out. Now all I gotta do is get over over to the pivot of the eye, eye beam and undo it. And I can drop this whole eye beam out. Oh, this is no fun right here. Is there an easier way to do this? That'll get him. radius arm. I'm probably going probably to drop to the floor pretty quick, so you got to watch yourself if I can get it. this out of the way then we can uh I'm gonna do the other side I'm not gonna film that so film this side so all, all the same unbolt everything and uh start well before I start bolting everything up I'm gonna clean all this uh get a wire brush on it and paint it black make it look decent so that's what I'm gonna do next after I get this get this out of the way all right before I take this before I take the last bolt out, I want to show you the difference in the location of your stop bracket and your weld tech bracket. And never mind these welds, they're okay. They're, that's the first time I welded in about 25 years. I took a class in college and yeah, it's gonna hold. I mean, it's got good penetration, so I'm not worried because it ain't going anywhere. As you can see, it's smoothed back and your actual radius arm is lowered. So that gives you more clearance in the well wheel for your bigger tires and gives you a better articulation travel since it's since your radius arm is longer than the stock. So just wanted to show you all that and get this bolt out, finish this side up, get the other side done. Next step will be cleaning, clean all this up and put a little coat of paint on it.
All right, so I just finished getting everything off the van on the front, painted up the inner well well to make it look a little nicer. And now all there is to do is to get started on installing the kit. Uh, everything goes on in the reverse in the reverse order as you took it off. So simple as that. <laughs> 